welcome back to War Sword Conquest. Well, firstly, I have to say, mind blown. Okay, last week we hit 900 subscribers. Technically, today, as of this moment, we have 911, but I didn't want to say anything any sooner near the end of the month because then I didn't want to jinx anything. But yeah, we've hit 900 subscribers. That's just nuts. So, all the new subscribers, thank you. For all the subscribers that have been with us for a while, thank you for staying with us. That's a big accomplishment right there. Um, and I uh, hope you guys are still enjoying us. So let's do this. We got some orcs to take care of. Oddly enough, oddly, not oddly, um, it's not the big guy, but this guy got 250 troops, and this guy got 204 troops. So he's pretty good sizes. Uh, I went on a little bit of a recruitment spree, mainly because we needed food. Uh, so I went over to the Chaos Lands to get some food. Like this town, all they had was one loaf of really expensive bread. We bought it, and then I went over here and I got tons of food. And I got some more chaos, and that's pretty much about it. I think we fought some bandits and stuff just for some XPs um, and whatnot for the new guys, and then we left. So basically, I left. Like, now that we got a castle, I'm always going to be worried about it, but we got 218 troops in there, so that's pretty good. Uh, we got a lot of pirates. But I left a lot of heavy hitters in there just in case we went and ventured out and I just got completely destroyed. I mean, I can always get away from it, but if I lost all of my heavy hitters, I'd feel so bad. Um, because we still have 218 troops, but just in case. I love some heavy hitters, but we still got quite a few. But we got a lot of new guys, too. So here's our list. We got a kind of um, mixture of a lot of big hitters. You know, 10 mercenary ogres, 10 minotaurs, uh, undivided champions. So we got good horsemen. We got a good front line of 30 warriors of corn. And then we got some mixtures of some kind of oddball ones. I got some pirates because I still haven't had a chance to get on a boat since the last little incident. <laughs> to get to the Skavens, or um, Dark Elves, yeah. So here we go, we got a bunch of new guys too, so hopefully they don't die. But we're gonna fight this guy, 258 like I said, 204. Um, it's not gonna be too bad. They don't have the best boar boys. Uh, they have 22 black orc bosses, this guy, and 7 trolls. Other than that, he just got lots of boys. I mean, 50 orcs alone. It's pretty nuts. And then we have this guy over here with, um... 20 black orc bosses, 5 trolls, and then of course lots of boys. But the cool thing though, I got some troops. Basically I took our prisoners, I think we got, I think 10 black orcs, and then I had 2 trolls I recruited once, so it's working good. Recruit them, I lose a little bit of morale, and then I just throw them right into the barracks, just so we don't lose them. So let's do this. That guy's probably going to join in, that's pretty close, yep, that's fine. I was expecting to do that. Oh, we got 6 happy points with this guy. Grimbog. That's a shame. Um, we'll fight you to the end. Oh, 169 versus 462. Let's do this. So I brought quite a few pirates, because I know we're going to have to fight a lot of orcs probably at once. The odds were not with us to be fighting them um, like in little fights. I figured we we're going to have to find a couple big ones. So let's go ahead and get all you guys down here. We're going to do a lot of shooting, that's for sure. Um, archers can start setting up right here. And then we'll start getting our horsemen over there and start having them stand closer. Look at all the champions we got. Of course, some squig riders for little funs, uh, some chaos knights. So let's get you guys down here with the killers alongside of you. Archers, I want you all standing here. Don't have too many archers because we are fighting, so we have a disadvantage. And they're not on the highest part of the list. I just brought them kind of as a backup. We lost a lot of troops. We always have a good firing line to go against these guys. Look at this. Skeezle got a kill. Savage Orc down. Alright. So we got... Was this a war box? I don't know because I shot his... Uh, or I got his thingy. Okay. Get these guys. Four boys. Crazy charge. Hardly ever do I see people send in their horsemen like this. The orcs are just nuts. <laughs> They're like, there's only like 20 of us, but we're gonna come after the whole army in this first attack. Just to throw them off. I love it. Alright. I mean, you don't see Bretonians do that. They don't throw like 10 cavalry. Oh, nice. Alright, so now what we want to do is... Oh, shoot. Not throw my axe, but it's too late now. Okay, we want to get this guy, maybe. There we go. Oh, come here. Somebody shoot him. 
just stupid boars in the way. Have some pig tonight, I guess. Get him! Get him! There we go. So, everyone charge now. There's actually quite a few of them over there who went after our horsemen for some reason. But the rest of them are over here. We're gonna go after the archers. Ooh, we're losing quite a few troops. Uh, Undivided Chaos Warrior. Eh. But then again, it's probably a lot of my weaker troops. Like, we're not completely decked out with guys. We have quite a few fillers. Many do the fact that I didn't want to bring all my heavy hitters and have them in one basket. Uh, you guys don't need to go over there. No, don't go over there. That's a lot of trolls coming that way. Okay. Let's get into it. This is kind of a weird place. It's really open. So you guys are going there. Start going over here now. And then archers, I want you on this hill now. And let's get regrouped while the big guns are in here. And then we'll do a little bit of a sandwich going here. Very nice. I'm not too worried about the archers. Yeah, we lost a lot of infantry there, it looks like. Their guys took out all my good guys. Alright, let's go. Oh, you got them. Good. And then let's position you guys over here. Is there still one more over here? You got them still. Pretty good. And let's get ready to sandwich these guys. My timing was a little off. I didn't quite have the, the horsemen close enough to get the, a good charge in. And killers. And of course, their trolls probably knocked out half our dudes. Alright, let's go after their archers. The, the poor, poor leftovers. <laughs> Actually, I should be going after the trolls. Okay, um... Yeah, I should really be going after them. Because if we can find another group, we should be able to do enough damage. Okay. Bunch of black orc bosses here, probably. Orc warriors. Very nice. Oh my goodness, and here comes reinforcements. Gotta remember, we're outnumbered quite a bit, so we gotta keep regrouping, repositioning, and making sure that we keep our good troops at least grouped together. When they start spreading out, then that's when you start really going downhill. Okay. Especially when you get reinforcements coming. Like, some of those guys were way over there behind the enemy lines. We did not want that to be happening. Okay. Gunners, you can stand a little bit over here. Since there's not many guys to stand in front of you now. We lost quite a few. Alright, those guys, that's so nice. Champions, I don't even have to bother with them. They just they handle whatever comes at them. Go ahead and engage with those guys. And then go over there and come around a little bit more. Gunners, you can move even closer now. Minotaur was knocked unconscious by this troll. Assist! There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay. In charge. They should be almost out of boys. Should be. Ugh. Okay. I think we're just gonna keep pushing. Even if they get reinforced, we're already here. Might as well just keep going. But I feel like they're just about out of troops. You guys get as close as possible. The squig riders will run down the little the little guys that are way over there. That our horsemen might not be able to catch. It's always nice having a variety of horsemen like that. But he couldn't run fast enough. There we go, nice. Alright, um, how did we do? I know we had a lot of techs, yeah, 43 ruined, so it was a lot of trolls bashing us right there at the beginning. And then 10 were killed, we didn't even get reinforced, that's how well we did. That was amazing. 265, 69 killed, so there's still 100 and some left. Yep, 128. So now we're just a little outnumbered, but that's fine. Let's do this. Okay, we got another hill, we should have more gunners now that all the other guys are dead <laughs> or knocked out I should say um so let's put you guys kind of here you guys here horsemen can go over there start standing a little bit closer 
And where the heck are these orcs? Oh, they're over here. That's so weird sometimes they do that. They position me facing kind of a different angle than the enemies are. Okay, you guys can come here. So horsemen, you really gotta move. You gotta get moving right now. Get over there on that hill sign. Got a lot of archers probably, so we're just gonna start moving everybody forward actually. Actually no. Big guys on the hill. Everyone else over here. Get you guys over there. Are those privateers? Oh, wow, they are actually doing some nice damage. See, this is nice. You got archers. Yeah, you got lots of archers. But you got gunners. They can start firing a lot sooner. Um, no, so let's just do the little plus equal sign trick. Everyone's going to charge. Our horsemen should be able to do a nice flanking charge right here where all their heavy hitters are. Air boys took out quite a few, but sacrifices have to be made, right? Okay. And very nice. Now the archers are just like, oh, we gotta bounce. But no! School taker is here. And he's not hitting a single one of you. That's a shame. Alright, there we go. Triple kill. Oh! Okay, I got some axes for you guys. I gotta ax you a question. <laughs> oh, he just took that one. Oh, seriously, he took two of my axes. He jerk. You gotta go down now. I want my axes back. There you go. Very nice. Let's get these runners. Try to, at least. Uh, there we go. Oh, you wanna fight? Oh, now you wanna fight. Too late now. There we go. Yeah, I don't have any more axes. And they are so gone. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So we lost another four. Twelve were wounded. We lost 114 and 14 wounded. No routes. That's what we want. We want as many prisoners as possible. Uh, both of them managed to escape, which is fine. I think I've actually sold... Wait, no. I think I sold one orc. And I think I sold a human so far. I sell them. There's no sense in holding them. They're not doing that great. Um, troops. We want trolls. Two trolls. That's fine. And then we want the black orc bosses. Nine of those. Sweet. And then we want uh, black orcs. And then the veteran black orcs. And then orc biggins. And then we probably want some poor boys for money. I don't really need them. Sell those, and we can hold quite a few more. So which the? Oh my goodness, I don't remember. I think it's bone smashers are the highest ones. Yeah, they got actual bones on there. They got a little bit of armor. Uh, boar readers are decent, and then we'll take those. We still can take five more. Um, orc veteran, orc heirs, and that is it. Wait, which one is it? Oh, we want the air boys, not the youngins. There we go. Done. Loots. Ooh. Crude orc boar helm. 49. We'll have to see if Agibagi needs that. 40. A lot of axes. Some heavy duty shields. Take a lot of this. Did we get any heads? Oh, we did get some heads. Um, but yeah, so one thing I forgot to mention when I was talking at the beginning. The one thing, since we ran out of food, and I kind of thought about this, I got a bunch of bread, like tons of it back at our place over at Mount Mount I don't remember the names very well where the heck am I Mount <laughs> Mount Veneer I went there and I got tons of bread and so basically bread and grain and so basically I stockpiled some of it in our castle um, we have a little chest we can store stuff in I only put food and stuff that I don't worry if I lost the castle like I don't put great stuff in there um, just in case this guy only had 18 some troops. I'm not going to let him. I'm just going to let him go. Um, but that way, if we ever had the same situation, because be honest, I ran out of food almost. Because these towns were all looted, so I couldn't buy anything. Um, I can't buy from the castles. I can't visit these people. Um, you don't really want to try sneaking. I think I mentioned this before in this mod, because you're you're done for. Basically, you're, you're naked with a stick. <laughs> and so... Some mods I like where you can actually go in with your armor on. It's like, yeah, you put a cloak, cover yourself, but you still got your armor underneath. So if you do get caught, 
you're not helpless. Um, and then that's nice. So there we go. And there's 33 bandits. Okay. How did we do? We lost 150. Oh, skis upgraded. Let's upgrade them real quick. Um, skills. We need to get you armor still, but that's not here right now. Let's do strength because that's 15. And then we'll do for iron flesh. And then we'll do one handed because you have a sword. And then I can't do firearms because you're already really proficient with that. What did you even have? I think it's a pistol? Yeah, I got him a Warpog pistol. Pretty sweet. Okay, Augie Boggy, let's check on his armor real quick while I'm thinking it. Oh, he upgraded too. Very nice, I didn't even see that. Augie Boggy, strength. And then we're gonna do Iron Flesh as well. And then we can probably start working on your, I don't know, to be honest, we don't lose that many casualties. Cause we play smart, we play with good troops. But, you never know. I think maybe I'll get... Hmm. Maybe I'll work on it just a little bit more. I mean, two more points, and then he could be good. And basically, we'll get this 5-5-5. Five, five, and five. And then, from then on, probably we'll just focus on his personal skills. Because Augie Boggy's a beast. Um, with 18 strength. Let's do one-handed. I don't think we'll do too many crazy things with you. And then champion, keeping you guys that. Chaos Knight, um, keeping you that. Let's do the repeater, because I think the other guy is more, even worse. He's like really close range, and he's also kind of melee more, I want to say. Corn, we're going to need some more corn, because we lost quite a few of you guys. See, we always still got 20 champions. Um, oh, I got 31. Let's do champions, I guess, this time. And then 13 more. See, we had a lot of new guys fighting in that fight. And then tribesmen. Sweet. So we can do, I think, one more fight. Let's double check the numbers real quick. Yeah, we got 100, so we got 57 people healing. Where could we go? I mean, I just started. We could go to Nome. I have to go back and trade stuff, actually. Let's do that. I'm going to go home trade stuff. Maybe we get a ransom broker. I have not had a ransom broker in my town yet. So I'm kind of backlogged for those. And then we'll go look for trouble. I mean, there's quite a few forts these guys own around here. And there is the town. Oh, by the way, in case I don't know. I've looked around. Nothing's really changed except for this, I think, happened. Of course, it could have been from before. I don't really pay attention to the notifications as much as I should. But other than that, nothing's really happening. Um, like the Skaven are actually still fighting somebody and they lose every once in a while and they win every once in a while but uh, nothing's really being captured so I'm going to go trade stuff, get rid of stuff make room for more stuff and I'll be right back okay so went on a little bit of a recruitment spree when I say recruitment spree I mean I took out a couple Empire Patrols because they had some really nice troops <laughs> I got two Heralds of Corn from them one of them only had two prisoners, by the way, and one of them was that. So I was like, I had to chase it down. But then again, one of uh, this guy, Starkova, was actually chasing him down, so I ended up helping him. Got some happy points. So I was like, okay. I did a little scouting run as well. There's no orcs around here except for like a couple little low ones. So that's a good sign, meaning they're not likely to be doing anything soon, since I saw at least three of them with less than 100 troops. One of those only had 18 troops. Um, but these towns are siegeable, except for this one's kind of be a little bit trickier. It got quite a few troops in that one. This one too, but of course that's towns. But um, and then I was like, I could siege these maybe next time. But then I was like, no, because then I have to sit around and babysit them until somebody finally gets them. And then the trouble is they don't protect their towns very well. Like our guys are just barely making it. Like I literally just helped Starkova. He had 30 troops. I helped him out because he got in trouble with an orc right around here. I knew he would. And now I come back over here to drop off troops. And here's another guy with like 20 some troops. Um, and he got in trouble by some Empire boys. I mean, that's just pretty sad. I don't know why our guys keep running around here with only s little groups of troops. And they keep getting knocked out. Like, constantly getting knocked out. Because they don't sit back and regroup. <laughs> so, it's like, no. I don't want to take something just to have to take it back again. So let's do this though. Let's help this guy because he only got some like, troops left. Just barely made it. Rush to the aid, 182. We should be able to handle this. But yeah, so this is a good sign though. It means orcs aren't going to be coming after us anytime soon. Also means the Empire boys probably won't be coming after us soon. Seeing how there's only like three or four of these guys and 
this is all they had to offer. You're really just gonna rush in there with your few guys? That's cool. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and stick you guys over there. Get you guys going over here. -ish. Hopefully we can take this hill. Are they gonna be right on the other side of it pretty soon? Not really, they're way over there. Okay, stick you guys actually probably right there. You guys over there. Switch back to these guys for this thing. And then we'll do this. Okay. But yeah, so I think... Dang it, I almost got him. I kind of want to go and get some Skaven. Like, yeah, we got a bunch of pirates whoop, <laughs> from that last fight um, on the ship. But, oh my goodness, I forgot about the gold guys. There's three of you here. <laughs> yes! Now there's only two. Cling! Okay. Oop, oop, oop. Can I get you? No, missed. Um. Oh my goodness, we just took out that horse. We'll probably do. Either A. Um. I forgot you guys are all chasing me still. Go kill. Um. A recruitment spree. Try to get. No! Do not go after my big guys. I saw you coming out there with that couch lance. Stupid Empire Boys. <laughs> and, um. Like, we'll go get some Skaven and re start replacing the pirates because we want to keep, you know, role playing. Um. Or we can see about sieging another Empire place. Oh, and I just leveled up. Which is perfect because I need to upgrade something that I have not touched this whole entire time. Somebody mentioned that I should do to help us convince people to make me marshal. So we can kind of get the ball rolling on things. If we could stop having feasts, that would be great. <laughs> like, literally, that's all they want me to do is come join them for feasts. It's getting a little old. Okay. So we didn't lose anyone, not just nuts. They lost one and three. Uh, and they lost all theirs. Perfect. So we got more happy points with this guy. We got eight happy points now. Ooh, we got this guy. You're my prisoner. They escaped. Oh, Rex Marshall Kurt. Okay. And then they escaped. They escaped. And that's all she wrote. Okay. Um, we don't need any of you. We've already traded up. Let's get some more champions. I've been doing lots of berserkers. More Warriors of Corn. Um, another champion. Very nice. I upgraded. Um, take those then. And that is it. Okay. We'll take some loots because we can. Not very good loots, but we'll take them. And we need good food. <laughs> so there we go. I'm going to talk to this guy real quick. Wait, wait, no, I don't want to. Actually, I should change and get this going first. Um, so someone mentioned persuasion. I completely forgot about it this whole entire time. And I should be putting that, since I'm not doing so much talking with my fists with my own people, everyone else, they can see my fist, and that's how I persuade with them. But for my own people, I should have some persuasion. So, I'm torn though. If I get one more strength here, I could get seven and seven. Um, and I could do persuasion point right now and get that going. Or I can do intelligence and I could put two points into that. Which I kind of feel would be a little more suited right now. I have to get a lot more points to get that last iron or strength. But then again, I kind of need more persuasion than I need these. So we're going to do that. Uh, I can get the strength next time, and then I can put it into um, one of these, and I can get my intelligence going back up there. What do we need these 61 weapon points in? Nothing, really. I got 258 one-handed, 208 two-handed, and I got 194 throwing. Yes. Uh, so let's just save them. And now let's try talking to this guy. See if that message even pops up. Because I really knew, do kind of need to get going. Um, let's ask you something. See, I think it only pops up really when it's time to vote. When their time's almost over. How many tasks for me? I could do this one, but it's just usually marriage or doing something else I don't want to do. Plus, we only got 10 points with them, and yeah, I'll save it. Okay. So there we go. Uh, let's go drop off some people. Ransom broker, please. Ransom broker. No, we got... Ooh, wait. No, nope, wandering scald. Blunderbuss? No. I don't really need blunderbusses when I have lots and lots of pirates. Lots and lots of pirates. Yeah, I'm going to cut it there, though, because there's not much else we can do this time. But yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll kind of go... 
because I really need a lot of things going. Mainly I need a ransom broker. As you can see, I have a lot of prisoners. I have yet to have a ransom broker pop in my town. I kind of need one badly to start getting some more funds in our pockets. Um, which is another thing I should check, is if my manage this town is done or not. Um, dot, dot, dot. Manage this town. Nine more days for the market. That would give us some more funds. Um, and then just selling lots of prisoners would give us some funds. Because I think... No. We need to get rid of these Empire boys. They've been around too long. Skaven can wait. They're not going to go anywhere. Um question is which one do we want to go after I kind of feel like we should go after Kislev because it's kind of way out here and if we take it it's less likely to be taken back from the orcs then again they are right there so maybe this one hmm that could be a good one we'll see I'll have to re-scout them out because I don't remember what's in there but now that we have you know we have got tons of infantry we've got tons of gunners so the options for sieging is a lot more open this time, especially when I can reinforce. So I could try at it. If we fail, I can always come back with more troops to take it and then be able to hold it long enough till somebody shows up. But especially now that the humans, or the Empire is just not doing that great, they shouldn't be able to take it back. Uh, I just have to watch out for orcs, but now that I know they're not doing so well, it's kind of a good time to strike when they're both not doing so well. Um, but there we go. I will see you guys next time.